All right, so I'm making this video on my phone because I can see that from my previous video here. A lot of people are having the question of how you get this thing to work after you've installed the, the trackpad. So um, I'm gonna show you how you do that. As you can see, here is the T440 with the new uh, trackpad or touchpad, whatever. And as you can see, the buttons here do not work. Did you see that? but the, the track point does. So in order to get this working, um, you go to Google, and actually when you type in on Google, the, uh, what's it called? Well, if it lets me go back, I guess not, okay. So I'm gonna go to Google, and we're gonna type T440, T450 trackpad. I'm doing this on my phone because it's uh, it's pretty much a pain in the ass driver, and I want to do it really quick. Now there is a driver that this a special driver that this requires, and it's pretty hard to find. Um, but some of these articles actually do have the uh, link to this. So let me try and find it. Um, but I know for a fact that some of these do have it. Because let me show you when you install it, you get this, if I can actually get this to work. So you get this, which is obviously not the case, you have this. So there is a special driver that you need to install. And if I can find the name of that driver, here it is. It's called N, N10GX25W. Now, don't follow the link because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. There you go. So click Save File. And it's going to download. Now, here's what you got to do, okay? Windows 10 is a real pain in the dick. And the problem with Windows 10 is if you update it, it's going to update it to this driver here, which is not what you want. Um, Windows 10, for some reason, just absolutely destroys the, the track point driver. This actually happened to me right now. I had the old driver, which worked with this. But when I updated Windows 10, it gave me that. We don't want that. Uh, so we have to wait for this to download. Now, if you have Windows 10 Professional, you can actually stop Windows from updating Um and that it will also stop this. Uh, in addition, uh, th the ThinkPad or the Lenovo system update, if I can click on it here, it also will make you, it also thinks that you're using, that you should use the other trackpad driver. You don't want to update it using the system update. Unfortunately, and I don't know if I'm probably not getting this right, I don't think Windows 10 allows you to select your updates. So in the meantime, you're just going to have to do this every time you update your computer. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not seeing the option. Um, oh, look at that. It already removed the update because supposedly this is the correct driver when it's not the correct driver. So we have to wait for this thing to ins to download. Um, so let me close these windows here and it's almost there so yeah uh, try to stop Windows 10 from uh, updating because otherwise it will destroy this driver and I don't think we want that it's almost done it only has 22 seconds remaining so I will link this to, look I mean I don't I hate this crap I will link this article in the description so that uh, I'm sorry I didn't get this video out sooner. I had a lot of stuff come up and uh, universities and stuff like that. So go ahead and launch this. Click yes. Click next. I accept. Click next. Yes. Click install. Click finish, click next, I 
accept next and let it do its thing so it's installing the drivers I'm doing, I'm doing this on a phone because a lot of people requested this but I can see a lot of people are having trouble with this alright there we go it says install failed but don't worry about that click finish click restart now restart anyway and let it do its thing I have another video that lets you replace this screen with an IPS. Uh, if, if it, you know, this laptop is popular enough, I'll probably upload that. All right, now you wanna. I don't care if you see my password. Who cares? So now you can see that you get these options when you open the the settings. You get these options after you install that driver. And what you want to do is you want to configure it to your liking. You know, I and I don't like the bottom right corner. I use this for scrolling. Click apply. Click OK. And then go to settings. Scroll. Switch direction. Click OK. And now this should work. So let's take a look. See if it works. So there you go. Boom, they work. And these buttons all work. These work. This button works. So if I click this, it works perfectly. So that's how you get it to work. In order to stop Windows from updating, uh, you have to go to GP Edit if you have Windows 10 Professional. And then you go to Administrative Templates, I believe, uh, Windows Components. Uh, try to find Windows Update. Windows Update. Um, always automatically restart. Now enabling turn off. Uh, I think it's this. No, not this one. Cancel. There are a couple in here. Um, Turn out do not include uh, automatic updates detection frequency. No, that's not it. But there is an option in here. Configure automatic updates. Here we go. You want to do this. Set this exactly the way I have it. Okay, once you do that, Windows 10 will not update. It will not prompt you for updates. It will not ask you to restart your computer. It will only update once you actually uh, tell it to update. Uh, so, unfortunately you have to do this every time you update Windows. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do this. Alright, take care.